let's move on to the next one. I'm sure you have heard about BERT. GPT was using the decoder part of your uh, transformer block or transformers. BERT is going to use the encoder part of a transformer. First of all, what does BERT stand for? It stands for bidirectional encoder representations from transformers. What are we going to do? It's the same paradigm of pre-training, fine-tuning. You first pre-train and then you fine-tune on your target task. But now you're changing your loss function compared to before. Previously, the loss function was a autoregressive loss function. Given the previous words, predict the next word. Here it's a little bit different. What are we going to do? You're going to take your input and mask 50% of the tokens that you have at random. So you're just going to mask them out. Let's say your sentence is New York is a city, and then you're masking York, and uh, the sentence that goes in is going to be New mask is a city. And then your task is to tell you York, to predict York. Or you can mask multiple words. That is task one. There is also a task two, which is if I give you two sentences, is this a next sentence in your paragraph? Is this next or not next? And that is coming out of this uh, part of your sequence. So what is happening is that the sequence goes in, a sequence comes out. The CLS token is going to correspond to next sentence prediction. Some of these tokens are masked. You're going to input two sentences. The question is, the question that the first entry is answering is, is this the next sentence? Yes or no? And then the masked language model is trying to answer what word did you mask? So the only change that you're doing compared to the previous one is you have, you're using the encoder part of your transformer and then you're changing your loss function. Your loss function is predicting the, the masked words as well as the next sentence prediction. So I think I'm gonna stop here and continue next session.